Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I wanted to take and talk to you about how not always the most expensive tool is the best tool for you to buy it. So what you're looking at right here is a really cheap Harbor Freight Drill Master 14 inch chop saw. Now I needed this for a job. I figured I did not want to go out and buy another expensive chop saw. I had a bad experience with an old Milwaukee and really garbage customer service skills from that company and also uh, you know their warranty was not up to snuff as I was well within my warranty but that's a subject for another day anyways so this is a bit of a Roy rant about expensive tools should be worth what they are asking for them so this here cheap picked it up for 79 bucks I got a pack of five chop saw blades um, for I believe it was $17 on top of that and this is the original blade and I have cut off probably at least 20 to 25 different hammer billets and one really large hammer billet for a 35 pound hammer a piece of four and a half inch stock you guys can't see it and I'm not gonna waste my time trying to pull it around so you can see it but tools should be the value of a tool should be equal to its price tag that you pay for it this is not always so so not always will you win with an expensive tool not always uh, the Milwaukee that I bought at the time, it was $199. Uh, it was either $199 or $279. I can't remember. I, I think it was $279. I, I lost my shirt on it, basically. Uh, I made five cuts with it, and it, the armature burned out on it. How does that happen? I don't know. I've been in the metalworking business for most of my life and uh, have been using chop saws for most of my life, at least the last 15 years. And so, uh, you know, how, how does that happen? I don't know. Um, but, here's the point. This thing, 79 bucks, I cut through a four and a half inch piece of 1045. I cut multiple, I cut an entire five foot length of 1045, two inches round diameter up into hammer billets and uh, umpteen other cuts now in the shop with angle iron and different jobs that I've got going on and I smoked this thing once literally had smoke roll up out of the electrical motor compartment and it kicked a breaker 20 amp breaker it's supposed to be a 15 amp saw take that thing flip the breaker back on and the thing runs perfectly fine again uh, and I knew I was pushing this thing to its absolute limits and its capacities. And I figured, hey, it's Harbor Freight, right? If I break it, who cares? It was 79 bucks, no big deal. Well, I'm glad to say this thing is still running perfectly fine. 100% hasn't lost any power. Um, some things that you're going to lose... You know, one nice thing about the Milwaukee saw was, you know, I mean, it had much nicer... Uh, all this stuff, you know, all your vice stuff was all better done, right? It was just all better put together, uh, you know, everything was tighter, had nicer vice clamp, you know, the metal was thicker, you know, the motor was bigger. Uh, I mean, you could keep going on and on about that, about all these upgrades, but what good does it do if it doesn't do the job? So... Be cautious when you're just buying based upon price. Read reviews. Read a ton of reviews before making a tool purchase. Uh, you know, and sometimes all you need is a cheap option like this, a good cheap chop saw for one job, right? This thing, however long it lasts me in the, in the shop, I can buy four of these for the price that I paid for basically one uh, expensive tool that didn't last for five cuts so uh, word to the wise always uh, you, you know always think out your purchases in your shop because it's not always do you need that ten thousand dollar power hammer or that fifteen thousand dollar press to get the same job done um, drop me a note and a line in the comment section down below 
uh, if you guys agree with that statement or not. And uh, just kind of let me know uh, what you guys have bought. Have you lucked into any good cheap tool deals that really have kind of surprised your expectations? Or have you found that getting cheap tools just, you know, they end up having cheap results? So drop that down in the comment section down below. I'd be glad to hear from you. As always, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.